for the next problem number six, we're combining some other of our uh, some other integration strategies that we've done. Uh, we're going to be use both using u substitution as well as some uh, trig integral strategies here. So we have the integral of cosine x times tan squared of sine. So we have a composition of tangent and sine here right away. That should clue you in that we have to use u substitution here um, because we don't have any way to in, uh, integrate trig functions that are composed with other trig functions. And as you might expect here, then, we want u to be sine x because we have cosine x right there. It's going to work out nice. So we have du equals cosine x dx. You can see cosine x dx is right there. So this integral becomes tan squared of u du. So now we need to figure out how we're going to integrate that. Well, if you remember from your uh, trig integral rules, in this case, tan squared is not something we can easily integrate. However, if we use our trig identities, we can get something that is. So tan squared is the same thing as secant squared minus 1. So let's turn this into secant squared u minus 1 du. And those are both easily integrable because remember secant squared is the common derivative. That's the derivative of tangent. So we can integrate that very easily. So our antiderivative here is just going to be tan u. And the antiderivative of 1 would be u. <coughs> Um, plus c. And then we just need to sub back in our u and we're done there. So we'd have tangent of sine of x minus sine of x plus c. So when you see this composition of functions, you definitely know you have to do u substitution. But once you get to here, you just need to remember your trig integral strategies for how to um, take the antiderivative of certain trig functions.